What's going on YouTube? It's me, the Strike Pack Guy, Mr. Longbacks, bringing you the long-awaited, highly requested video, a lengthy video that the majority of you guys wanted to see. Um, a very in-depth of the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Game Pack version 2.8.0 as of 8.12.19. Unless they come out with a new version, which I highly doubt. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a long video, so get your snacky snacks, get your drinks. And just kick back and I'm gonna do my best to uh, explain everything in depth about this game pack and what I know in my knowledge on it about this game now stuff I'll be going over is like the uh, ADS um, aim assist plus and ultra target assist comparing the two even though I made a video on that and countless other videos on, on this game but I'm gonna go a little more in depth explain my point of view and my opinions on them which I think is best which I think is worse which I think is for you know for each gun because every gun it, it is different in this game when using the mods some mods will work better with with certain guns and more will, will work you know will be less you know effective than others it's always to each his own I'll be going over you know just about everything you know fast reload I mean stuff that's like obvious like you know it's like um rapid fire it's like you know obvious it's not doesn't take that much brain work I'll be going over weapon AI I talk more about it even though I made videos on it you know because I've been getting a lot of requests so I, I make videos on you know what you guys ask and the feedback and I bring it to you guys um, I'll be going over mostly everything everything you you, you don't gotta worry about it in, in, in the worst case scenario if I do miss um, a few things I'll be I'll be more likely to cover them in comments so if I miss like one or two things which I doubt but I probably will look, look in the comments it might be a, a pinned comment or I might be you know try to answer um, questions that I get if I get notifications in the comments on this video but like I said my DMs are always open and without further ado let's just jump straight into this game pack let's go now I'm just gonna go um, kind of like a slideshow just go down the list and show you guys and um, this ain't the explanation I'm gonna have in game also and hand cam and show you guys but the stuff I'll be going over in depth is uh the look sensitivity you guys have to know that you have to match this in game um regardless of if you know if you use the mods or whatever you're using this game pack in general you must be matching the ads sensitivity and the and the look sensitivity both in game and here so whatever you have it in the game let's say your 10 10 8, 8 whatever put it here and also your ads sensitivity both have to match that's like um that's a big, a big thing that a lot of people get confused too you got to match i always stress this a lot to people that have questions Please match it. Please, please match in game. Um, these are like um, bumper triggers if you're playing flipped and, and everything. Um, if you if you play flip, you gotta enable it here in the strike pack. Um, leave a default in the game, and and make it here on the strike pack. Play flipped on the strike pack. Um, because one if you're using the strike pack, the strike pack does um dominate and take control over the controller regardless of the settings you have. Um, when it comes to the buttons in your system and stuff like that. Not not the console in in game. So I just want to clarify that. Um, hair triggers, you guys already know. Hair triggers is like featherweight. Hair triggers are um, ADS and um, and R2, like your shoe button, whatever. Like ADS and your shoe button, you gotta press it all the way down. Um, you know, the lighter you push it, it's just gonna it's just gonna fire away and ADS fast. That's what that is. Weapon fire activation. Um, I leave this always activated. That's, this is always activated. That's just the thing that's, that I leave it on. Profile switch mode. Um, have I ever used profile switch? Um, I just leave a manual. I just leave that manual. I don't. I don't mess with. It. I don't mess with that. Weapon profile one. Now this. This is kind of like um, if you don't have weapon AI or you have weapon AI active. Um, you have a couple of weapon profiles. You have four actually that you can set. What like your favorite gun? Like um, all the guns are here. Well, all the basic guns um that are in the game. Um, right now, let's say you, you know the Maddox or whatever, you can select it here, you know, assign it here, and that weapon profile one will will be automatic. Like um, if you have weapon AI um, activated, and you pick up that gun, it will already know that that if you if you're on that profile using that gun, you don't got to worry about it. Everything will be set for that specific gun, like automatically. So let's say you, you got a loadout with this gun, you have this gun on and you're using it. Um, you don't even have to like constantly keep um, enabling weapon AI, you know, like you pick up a gun, you hold down on the D-pad and press R2. You wouldn't have to do that. This would just be like an automatic thing. 
but you have to make sure you're on that specific weapon profile and with the and have that specific gun in your hand um and if you're gonna have it like with attachments there's there's guns here too like there's guns here with the attachments like if you use them if not then just leave it regular the regular gun with no attachments that's that but um i'll be going over this also as well i'm gonna leave it like that and when we get to the game off camera i'll, I'll select the gun i'll let you know what gun i have and what profile and what before I, I get into it and weapon profile 3 I don't know why that's that that's usually by default but I just I leave everything I leave everything like that the way it is I just disable it and like I said I'll explain it to you once I jump into the game weapon fire weapon AI of course um also they have like rapid, uh, rapid fire steady fire rapid fire we, you guys may know what rapid fire is steady fire is like um it, it, it shortens the length of shooting like you know for example like um, if you have a fully automatic weapon you'll be able to like you know make it like two round bursts three round bursts and stuff like that and shorten the, the doing that also shortens the recoil of it burst fire uh, is like um well, actually I think that's what burst fire is um yeah burst fire burst fire is like if you have if you have an um if you have automatic gun you can you can make it you can make it to where you can shoot three bullets four bullets you know two bullets you can make it like semi-automatic yeah you can just read the yellow the yellow uh the yellow highlight right there but anyway i'll i'll, I'll just leave weapon ai because i feel this in, in class one weapon fire weapon ai is the best this is overall by far overpowered um and to any of these auto bursts and you, you trust me you're gonna always want weapon ai so of course and i already explained i went over weapon ai in a, in my other videos the rapid fire rate um this you want this all the way down um if you use the rapid fire all the way down to 20 you know the the, the least you know the the less the number the faster it is steady fire delay you don't gotta worry about this because i won't be um using weapon fire delay we're gonna be using on um, weapon ai so that this doesn't this doesn't concern us this doesn't concern us only only this right here and weapon ai of course because the reason I say that I'm just gonna go with weapon AI, you guys already know. Because like I said, this 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 is the most OP and this is the most everyone's gonna be using that you're gonna want to use, rather than any of these. Because weapon AI is so overpowered, it takes over, you know, the ADS and you got the fast reload and the whole nine. Now, a zombie abuse. I already made a video about that, but I'm going to to be fully fully explaining ultra target assist and aim assist plus. And which weapons are the best to use and the setups for um both of them so i'll just leave this ultra target assist for now and i'll have another game pack using using the aim assist plus so you guys don't don't gotta worry about it um it is anti-recoil you have to enable it in order to use weapon ai uh quick scope is disabled but do i really need to go over quick scope i think you guys already know um quick scope is like you know all you, you know all you gotta do is fire r2 and oh quick scope fire you know like fire on release and stuff like you press sensitive you don't gotta you know you just tap it and stuff like that and shorten the, the time and all that i'm not really a sniper but um you guys should just um name one of these and mess around with it if that's your thing if if sniping is your thing uh, i suck at sniping and here is the adjustable the higher the value increase fire delay so you're gonna want to like leave it like from here like 450 as the default you want to from 450 down and just mess with you know, you know like the numbers here but like I said, I'm 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 gonna be going on quick scope. Quick scope quick scope is like um it, it is what it's called. It's like you just press um R2 or R1 if you're flipped and it, it will do like a quick scope animation and fire at the same time. Auto run enable always, always auto run. That allows you to just start sprinting without clicking in the analog stick. Um shot mode. I went over the shot punch um last time in one of my other videos. So I'll go over and I went over corner snap so so in my previous videos I have went over shot punch and corner snap um, I'll be explaining um, I'll explain straight fire and hop shot I also went in my previous video yeah so I'll, I'll, I'll go to straight fire I explain straight fire for you guys uh, split fire I'll explain split fire as well you got spring load of scope rep fire cross aim rep fire cross aim spring load and cross aim state fire um, always rapid fire. I'm a rapid fire kind of person. When it comes to the strike pack, I like to shoot fast and uh, and you and you guys are gonna see gameplay of that also because I got um rapid fire gameplay with the strife coming soon, so you guys could check that out. 
Um, I'll do crouch aim rapid fire, fast reload enabled, and left paddle mods and right paddle mods. I'll leave them disabled because, like I always say, it's best to leave them disabled. So like that, you can just um, you know, on on the go on the fly, just assign them to whatever buttons you need them to be. Like left could be your X or whatever. So that's the way I play. My right is my jump. My left is my crouch. That's the way I play. So I don't really, I don't really use any of these mods. But um, you could, you could have, you could make them to like Turbo Paddle, which is like um, it's Turbo 2.0 that already comes with the Strike Pack. Like you could assign, let's say X, and then you have that Turbo Paddle, let's say left, and you press just a paddle, it'll start spamming X so fast and stuff like that. So um. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably, uh, you know, towards the end of the video, I'll probably go over a few of these. And But for right now, I'll leave them disabled. And Turbo Adjustable will leave them all the way down. Don't forget to uh, double save as always. Now, real quick, before we get started, I just want to say this to you guys. Please make sure that you do not, you do not run any kind of grip, any kind of grip. I repeat, any kind of grip on um, any of your weapons that you are running because weapon AI... Uh, weapon AI um, will be messed up. It will not work, and that's well, is mandatory that you can't not run a grip because, and especially even with the um, the anti recoil, the anti recoil mod alone, um, don't run a grip because that defeats the purpose, and it will mess up the mod. The mod is tended to work as a grip, um, eliminating recoil um, altogether. So take the take the time out in the slot, um, pick something else so you can gain the upper hand. All right, so you can make sure that you stay above, always on your enemy. And just don't use a grip. Just don't. Because you, you're going to notice that it messes you up. Also, as well. Let me just put it faster. Also, as well as um, run gun, gun ho. Gun ho also makes sure that the mod runs smoothly. And you're playing an in-game. You know, you're sliding, you're reloading. And the auto-reload is, is as smooth as possible. Run this uh, gun ho. Especially for the weapon AI. Especially for the auto for the auto-reload. I mean, you, you don't have to. It's not really a mandatory because, you know, I get away sometimes also without running it. But um, to make sure a smoother, you know, less glitchy and less stuttery um, mod and experience of using a mod and stuff like that and use a weapon AI and auto reload, um, run gun ho. Run gun ho. Fire your weapon and use equipment while sprinting. Recover from sprint faster. Move at full speed when reloading. So <laughs> that's the reason why. It's amazing amazing perk you know just in the game in this game in general combining it with the mods with strike pack and weapon ai and auto reload is just phenomenal so don't forget those are my two um that's my both advice i give to you don't run um grip on any gun and make sure you run gun hole if you don't have it unlocked and you're using a strike pack and using a mod pass make sure you get the gun hole and have gun hole on let's go hi right, you guys what up jump straight into this now I'm going to be going over um, the anti recoil mod, the free mod that already comes with the strike pack. That's not, um, has nothing to do with the mod pass. Because I get a ton of, you know, um, questions and concerns about this. So let me just knock this out the ballpark real quick. It's going to be the third LED light on your strike pack, starting from the left. So hold left, press the right button, and begin to mod mode real quick. You guys already know. Now you hold left, wait till the LED light on your controller goes out. It's gonna go out now one two I'm gonna third light you guys can see that I'm on the third light now you just press triangle one time only once the light should be blinking now I'm using the Spitfire let me run over here it's like that I can just kill myself I'm using the Spitfire because it has like one of the highest recoil the recoils in the game right now so I'm gonna just head over here just so I can kill myself now now let me say this Every gun is different in every single game you play. No matter if it's an FPS game, no matter if it's uh, Fortnite, whatever. Every gun you use, you're gonna have to do this. If you don't got my pass and you're just relying, you're just using the the anti recoil for your uh, FPS um, dominator um, strike pack. You're just gonna have to um, manually set this for every gun because every gun's recoil pattern is not the same. It's different. So I got a lot of people saying, "Oh, they just uh, applied it, and oh, um, it was working before, but now it's not working. I'm using this gun." I'm like. Did, did you did you um did you uh, recalibrate again? Did you set it up again? You gotta you know mess with the R1 and L1, the you know the green and the red, bring it up and down. Oh no, you, you gotta do that unless you have the mod pass and you can easily just um save all your fi configurators and and use Weapon AI and it does it for yourself and all that stuff and all that jazz within mod pass. But a lot of people um new and old come to me that they don't have mod pass and they just got the straight pack, so they got 
you know a lot of questions and concerns so this hopefully will answer everything you you need to know now the way you test the way you test you just like go into custom games or you just go by yourself or lobby or whatever and just um ADS and shoot notice the pattern of the gun goes up a little bit well the, this one spitfire you go a little to the right and go straight up you see how crazy it is it almost like a backwards c like a backwards c you see that it's like a well, backwards j whichever way you whichever way you look at it now the way you um you mess with your recoil you hold left of the d-pad like always you already know the strike pack now the light should be flashing because you should already be on the third led light now pressing r1 well let me do it again now pressing r1 oh because i'm already at, at, at max um vertical so you got vertical horizontal think of it like that well no not horizontal it's vertical um because r1 brings the gun up l1 brings the gun down so see if i'm pressing l1 that means it's bringing my gun straight down so if you go all the way to the max and you hit the, the max um downward the light shouldn't be blinking red anymore and if you're tapping r1 um and the light is not on uh, flashing that means you're already at max um going straight up so all right that's enough like that now let's, let's just test it see what happens see that i just pulls the gun straight down i'm not even doing anything look see i'm not the analog, i'm not touching the analog stick pulls the gun straight down that's because as i showed you guys I, I I put I put um I can pressing L1 all the way straight down. I do play default. I don't play flip. So if you're playing flip, you know what you got to do. Common sense. You're gonna want to instead of tapping L1 R1, for you guys it's gonna be L2 to bring the gun down and R2 to bring the gun up. Now that's how you just that's how you work it. That's how you work it for every gun for every game is different. You just you just play with it now. You know tap it a little more, bring the gun to fix it because you know I had it. I showed you guys that shit went straight down. Now see it's getting a little better. I'm just showing you guys like that. You guys can take this and and work with it. And you guys can learn. See, continuously tapping. This is actually, you know, the the, the old school, the the long way for doing it. If you don't have my fast, now you see, see, it's it almost got that straight. You see, see, I was a lot better than. Oh, it went away. But remember in the beginning when I showed you like backwards J or backwards C. Now look, I made it a little little more straight. Same thing for the pistol. Same thing for any, every gun you use. You're gonna have to. Um, manually do that if you're not rocking my pass if you're just using that is the regular anti recoil mod which is the third light um, on the left side of your strike pack so one two three it's third light is anti recoil mod that's how you assign it that's how you set it up please 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 make sure you guys um, change it and set it up for each gun because you know it, it does work and don't just say oh it does work you guys gotta remember it's, it's not that simple the strike pack is you know a, a amazing device but you got to work with it you know it's not going to program and work itself you guys have to you know enable it and get it to where you feel comfortable where you you know okay this is what i like this is how i rock this is how i melt people this is how I, you know this is how i go ham so um that's it with that now now i'm finally going to jump straight into the dedicated black ops 4 game pack for my pass let's go now for the I'm gonna be going on weapon AI. Um, even though I made a, a video already, um, a lot of you guys still got questions and concerns regarding weapon AI. Now, same rules do apply, sort of. Well, actually, the same rules do apply. Um, just like the anti-recoil mod, but you don't gotta constantly keep, you know, pressing L1, R1, or if you're playing flipped L2, R2 to adjust um, up and down. Um, you know how much recoil your gun does. Weapon AI is automatically, automatically. You know, just like in Fortnite, they have it. Just like in uh, Apex, you know, and, and and they're starting to bring out more and more of these weapon AI, beautiful, beautiful mods that I feel like, you know, are godly with the strike pack with the mod pass. Now, um, uh, Spitfire, um, like I do, I don't have it active. My weapon AI is not active, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have record as you can see. And let me show you guys. By the way, oh yeah, see, it's still the backwards C and J. Um, by the way, I'm not using any. Um, these are two classes I'll be using. I'll be going over the ABR and, uh, and SG12, but I do not have any attachments. They're exactly the same. I just copied and pasted and just changed the primary and secondary, so they're exactly the same. Now I have weapon AI, as you see in the beginning of the video. I showed you what I have enabled in the in the mod pass. Now, just like before, just like the other video I showed you guys, you're gonna want to hold down on the D-pad, tap R2 once to enable it now it's gonna reload it's gonna shoot reload and shoot again that's that's normal because why you have the auto reload and you have you know um you see that's that's the auto reload that's fast reload 
and you have um the other mods that is enabled that works together. The other mods they all work together, and anti recoil work to ADS anti recoil works together to bring you the um the smart weapon AI. Now it's is reactive, so that's how you know you shoot, reload, shoot that you get the animation. It's gonna work. Now you need to do that in order to um, enable weapon AI. You got to be in a quiet area. You can't be around your teammates if they're shooting and stuff like that, or if they're emoting. You know these emotes got um, noises and they make your controller vibrate. Vibration has to be on in game and in your console. Vibration has to be on. That's very important. So if anything in the game is making your controller vibrate, it's gonna throw off the mod. So please make sure. You know, you're in a quiet area, and the only vibration you get is from your your own controller, from your own animation. If, again, if you're somewhere that's very noisy, bombs, emotes, shooting for your teammates, whatever, even in the game when a you know, plane flies by the beginning of the map, so yeah, it's not going to work. So, just had to show you guys. Oh, yeah, and I already showed you guys in, in the previous video how to um, disable mod um, in, in, the, in the mod configurator tool, how to disable rumble, how to disable um, vibration. It's like that, you know, you can you're free lead to play and use a strike pack without your controller vibrating. If you want a link, I'll probably put a link to that in the description like that you guys can know because I don't gotta like go over that again. Now, without any further ado, hold it down ADS and shooting. You can see barely, barely any recoil. And if, and if you feel like you know it 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 it, ain't, it doesn't work to your favor, you can always do it again. Now, my I got controller vibrate, so my analog sticks are like kind of like real sensitive. So um, when the controller vibrates, it, it's gonna move the analog sticks. That's another thing I want I want to clarify that some people say it doesn't work like anti recoil stuff. If your analog sticks are like very like light, especially if you have set the sensitivity all the way down in the strike pack um menu, then be careful because if your controller starts vibrating, and analog sticks are moving, it's gonna throw draw off your aim. So hold down yes, and as you can see, it's like see it's like a uh, just zero recoil like uh, nothing at all but you know, like I said my analog sticks are like very very um they're loose because I'm, I'm, I'm like kind of a like I'm a really harsh gamer when it comes to my controls and stuff but anyway I try to take care of my stuff but that's besides the point ADS shoe and as you can see like the you know, zero to minimum recoil at all but like I said, my R2, and I got I got my control freak in this thing, and I like to play like with a very low sensitivity on my analog sticks. Some people think I'm crazy. I mean, it, it, it works, but um, yeah, I also made a video to that too, and a video I'll, I'll post in the description about how to um how to increase the sensitivity on your analog sticks within the strike pack, which is dope as hell. It's crazy, but um, yeah, that's how I play. If, if you want to avoid that and have like perfect, perfect um, you know, zero recoil. Just leave the, the sensitivities alone. Just leave them at zero. Don't even mess with, with the analog sensitivities. You know, only mess away with like you know in-game and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it also works with every gun. Let's say you switch your gun. Now, when you when you enable um the weapon AI, it's it's only gonna affect that gun. So when you pick up another gun, or when you switch, you, you gotta do it again. Hold down. Make sure you're in the fire place. Tap R2. You're gonna get the the animation. That's to confirm. Now you just and it's gonna uh, it's gonna enable um rapid fire. It's gonna sense what gun you have. You know if you have like a, um pistol or sniper or you know, any kind of semi-automatic, it's gonna automatically um you know notice it and you're good to go. Optimum recoil, the best recoil I can give you, and along with rapid fire, which is pretty uh pretty badass. Um now. Now I want to show you within within the, the mod pass to say you don't want rapid fire, um, how you can um, enable it yourself, enable it, disable it. So that's uh now that I got the strafe again. Let me go back, hold down the pad, enable weapon AI again for this gun. Now you you know if you if you uh oh yeah just to let you guys know see no rapid fire. Now to enable rapid fire yourself, uh, what you're gonna want to do um it should I, I believe it's triangle what it should do is no it's r2 so if you hold down and press r2 no what did i just do that's weapon ai let me go back i'll sign up an ai to this now i believe it should be triangle so it's, yeah so i'm holding down i don't have um i don't have our fire so if i hold down and tap triangle it should have no my mistake is it oh 
It's up in R2. Oh, hey, <laughs> up in R2. I don't want to confuse you guys. It's up in R2. I was I was confused. I was like, no, I had to remember. I remember though, top of my head. I'm see, I'm trying to remember all this stuff. I'm learning a few things too as I'm going on. And I'm teaching you guys. But yeah, it's a uh, thing. And I don't have um, I don't have weapon AI activated. This is just um to have to have um that's to enable rapid fire on the go. So enable and disable rapid fire on the go. You want to hold, you want to hold up on the D pad and tap R2. Now you no longer have rapid fire. It's just regular. That's how to only enable disable rapid fire. Like separate from weapon AI, so so you guys don't get confused. That's how that's how that's done. I right, only I can kill myself. Okay, there we go. Now I'll be I'm gonna be demonstrating and comparing the two, which is um as as much as I can with uh, Ultra Target Assist and Aim Assist Plus. Now that's coming up right now. Um, you guys are gonna want to pay attention to this. I'm gonna try to get into super detail details about about the two, and I'm gonna show you guys um that i have separate with the uh with the advanced shooter um i don't have it for the blackout football i'm, I'm gonna show you with the advanced shooter because they're both in the advanced shooter in the advanced shooter game pack and ultra target assist is in blackouts 4 game pack so i'll show you um i'll show you each of them right now let's go stay tuned Ow, i just banged my fucking wrist oh yeah i failed to um to just let you guys know that for the for the quick reload for the fast reload mod um is affiliated with uh weapon ai or smart weapon AI so for it to work to make sure that you you have weapon AI or either the profile either the profile one two three or four with the with the weapon that you're using that you have enabled and then enable it so like that um, it will work and you'll see the animation and you'll get a full clip because if you're using another gun <clears throat> excuse me if you're using another gun and you try to shoot and then you reload and the weapon AI is for another gun Sometimes it, it will it will not give you the full clip as you saw in in the in that little short clip that I kept only seven rounds. It's because you gotta have it. it doesn't always work. Um, it doesn't um do that all the time. Sometimes you might um, experience that 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 glitch um where you know you get the animation reloads, but it doesn't give you the full clip. Just when that happens, just make sure you're using the weapon AI for that particular weapon. So I already have weapon AI with, with this up ICR, but I'm doing it anyway. Hold down the pad, press R two. Or make sure you're on that you're on that weapon profile and you you'll be good to go. It's like that shoot, press triangle. It'll, it'll it'll do that quick animation, allowing you to get back into the action ADS as fast as possible. Rather than you know, it only takes off like a, a few seconds, like one or two seconds. One of but, but one of one or two seconds could save your life in a gunfight. So yeah, I just want to um, let you guys know that. Okay. Now jumping into the weapon profiles, I just want to say this: triangle. I think it's the camera, even though you can't see it because my, my my buttons are red out, decked out. But triangle, I'm on PS4, so triangle is going to be weapon profile one. Circle Disruptor will be ready. weapon profile two. X is three. Square is four. So um, clockwise you're going, and same rules apply for Xbox. So it's going to be, I don't know what buttons are Xbox. So it's going to be top, right, bottom, and then left. That's how it's going to go. It's going clockwise, okay? So triangle being weapon profile one. Now I got my class here. I got my Spitfire along with fast mags. Now you don't have to only run fast mags. You just got to make sure that fast mags is a part of your attachments. The other two, three, four, five attachments, if you will, has you know it could be whatever. It could be whatever. Just no grip. Just no grip. But you got to have make sure you have fast mags. Now you hold up on the D-pad. You hold up. It's, it's not like um, weapon AI where you just you know hold down and press R2. Since we're dealing with the weapon profiles, we don't got to do any of that. You just got to hold up and tap triangle. My controller just vibrate and you saw that green flash indicating that it is on. Now, then what that does is automatically um, um, recognize this since you since you input it in the mod pass the Spitfire with the fast mags. Now you know it, it, it's set. It's set to this gun. Now every time I have this gun, even if you pick it up, whatever, even if you pick it up off of somebody, somebody else that has the Spitfire that don't got um, you know anything else on it. You know, uh, as long as they got the fast mags, you you'll be set to go. You don't have to. You don't have to con um, always. You know, deal with like weapon AI holding down a D-pad pressing R2. You still have optimum recoil, as you can see. No wall. You have optimum recoil, the best recoil possible. Now. You know, my, my analog sticks are going to move because of the sensitivity. But, yeah. 
Now, now, if you want to switch on um, weapon profiles, and you see that's how um um fast um, fast reload works. Auto reload. You just um well fast fast reload. You press triangle to reload, and you get the animation. That's like that pro player tip that they that they reload, and then they um why why so. Sorry about that, guys. Now the way you switch, the way you switch to profile two, is like I showed you, circle being two, or the right. So same way. No, but first, first let me uh, first let me kill myself. Now I have the ICR with FMJ, like I showed you before. Let me just come over here, la 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 la. And before activating it, um, before signing anything, you just want to make sure that everything's all right, everything's flowing. And, and you know you're not doing anything or having anything that you're not supposed to that's going to interfere with the mod now holding up on the d-pad and pressing circle my controller my control just vibrate now they deflashed I believe that was blue I don't know if you guys can see it because I'm facing this way now there goes the class again the ICR with FMJ and like I said before you just you can have any attachments you want no grip and you have to have FMJ because that's what I put in the um, in the mod pass now Optimum recoil, the most optimized recoil. See, barely nothing, no recoil at all. Even though ICR already doesn't have, you know, little to no recoil. This just makes sure it's that you have no recoil at all. And you know, and you have to you have to fast reload and stuff like that. I, I move, that's why I started walking and stuff like that. I got the auto run. But yeah, that's how you switch. You can always switch back. You can switch between the first one, second one, third one. You know, first, first, second, third, fourth. So uh, yeah, and, and any 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 amount of movement you do is gonna um, mess up the fast reload sometimes. As you can see, you know, I'm still stuck at seven bullets. So you're gonna want to make sure you just uh, finish the uh, finish the clip or whatever before you reload and stuff like that. And make sure you're not sliding and jumping, doing it, doing you know common things that you know is it, it might mess up the mod. But other than that, that's how, that's the weapon profiles. Um, that's the weapon profiles for for the the black ops 4 game pack now it's it's sort of the same thing like weapon ai the only thing is that is it's it's automatically um assigning you know full full um optimum recoil and all that for that gun that you assign automatically for the weapon for either the four weapon profiles instead of you just always picking up the gun and whatever and having to assign weapon ai it will be already assigned for you now going on to i believe this will be the last mod that's been requested and I only go over stuff that's highly requested. Now is the aim assist plus. Now stay tuned for that because I'm gonna be going over explaining aim assist plus again, and then I'm gonna give my insights again and tell you which one I prefer out of aim assist plus and ultra target assist. Like now another mod I would like to go over with you guys. You can, as you saw in the in the mod pack, all the way in the bottom is the it's a rapid paddle is actually putting two turbo 2.0 out of the regular exists in the strike pack with the right paddle um that's that's pretty dope and that's kind of kind of sort of new um not really really new but um one of the la latest um implements that uh collective minds added to black ops 4 game pack that allows you to to assign any button to the right paddle and have it like um turbo have it turbo which is just spamming it very very fast so as you saw, I have, I have it on my right. I have it on my right, um, which is just gonna continuously um, spam X. I have the right paddle as X, as you can see. I'm holding in the right paddle, and I'm not even pressing X. Move my thumb off of there. See, it's just spamming X. So it, it's really good on um, for like FPS if you wanna just have um, rapid fire assigned to one of your paddles. So let's say R2. I want R2, so I, I hold the, the right. Um, the right black button in the back of the strike pack and press R2 release and now I'll have I'll have rapid fire on um on the right paddle and I'm just holding in right paddle and it's shooting which is um which is which is all right I mean I'd rather have rapid fires you know good old fashioned way just with R2 but I guess there are people out there that prefer having um Turbo 2.0 active on their paddles which is really dope. And I hope, you know, in the future, Collective Minds continues to add Turbo 2.0 and Rapid Paddles on damn near every game pack because it's, it's very useful. Especially you got those games where you got to constantly, um, continuously spamming a certain button like Circle or X, like GTA, where you got to continuously 
keep tapping X to run, which is pretty dope for that game. And it's nice to see that they're bringing it to, um, to other game packs, which is uh, pretty dope, in my opinion. It's pretty awesome. And you can try for yourself. And, and yeah, let me go back to having the X because that's me. I like to have the X um, double jumping and stuff like that. Just like the way I had it um, classic back then for Black Ops 3. Go on to the next mod. Going on to the next mod. Now going into Straight Fire. Straight Fire is pretty dope. Um, I find it to be a universal mod actually. And it, it is part of, um, as you saw, it is part of Black Ops 4 game pack. But it is, is universal in my opinion because, you know, every game, even third person shooters, you can use it. All it does is when you're ADSing like L2 or whatever and you're shooting, see it moves side to side. So you see I'm not moving my analog sticks. It moves left and right side to side which is pretty phenomenal like it, it's 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 pretty good um and it's universal like i said it's universal because you can use it like in division and stuff like that it just goes back and forth um you can still control the right um, aim stick of course so ads and you don't even gotta you know move this instead of you doing it yourself it will do it for you so let's say this magic right here you know i mean it, it, it will kind of like throw your aim off but on the, on the other person's screen you know you're moving so not only is it you know hard it's hard for you but it'll be hard for them you know so like that they can't you know they'll be missing their shot so if, you, if you're good enough you can just keep on track you know which is all right it was just all right um i would use it like on you know other games like third person shooting and stuff that's i say it's universal because you can use it you know um, throughout most of the games and it really doesn't matter what gun you have because you're still moving it, it still moves left and right so I'm not moving and I don't even have weapon AI for the pistol so let me hold down and we do it again there we go and now see okay, now all right look even I have no more ammo so as you can see this is a clear um clear show of it I mean it's not for everybody you know some, some people will throw, them, throw their aim off some people it won't because it's spent it, it, it goes back and forth so I mean you take it use it try it out it's all right but for this, I feel like um, if it's moving, see how fast it's moving back and forth. I feel like you would have to lower your sensitivity for this. If you're gonna if you're gonna use straight fire, I will say lower your, your sensitivity. And you can still move. You can still walk around and stuff like that. So you know, it's not it's not like it's not like it's stopping you from completely, um, completely um, not being able to move while you're shooting with with your with your movement. Like, look, like you can still move. It's just like. They just throw throw their aim off on you, you know, when you're, when you're not moving instead of you know being stationary, just standing there and you know. I mean I guess it's alright. It's alright. You gotta move and shoot at the same time to use this mod. But yeah, it's just like the shot punch mod it takes over your your melee shoots and then melees. That's in the weapon, the Black Ops 4 game pack, um shot mode. There's a few of them there. There's also crouch fire, where when you shoot it also crouches. And it spams um crouching like this. It pretty much spams circle over and over. It doesn't go completely to the ground. It's like this, like that when you're shooting, it's going up and down. It's, I mean, kind of like tweaks and things and the little um sneak tips. All right, I guess. I haven't tried it out really. Basically, myself. Though the straight fire is cool, like I said before. It's cool for like other games and stuff. Now moving on to the next one. Alright, now I hope you guys can see this. I'm in a local game because I couldn't I couldn't get anybody online, anybody to join me. So I'm like, yo, let me just try and do this in a local game. Everything, same rules apply to everything. You know, everything is a little smaller because the screen is like cut in size. But I hope you guys can still see this. But you guys can hear me, and see my hand, and see what I can do. Now, the first thing I'm going to be going over is, which is part of Black Ops 4 game pack, which is Ultra Target Assist. Ultra Target Assist enhances um enhances the um the aim assist in the game um that's already that's already there that's already implemented it just kind of sort of abuses it if you will if you will that's that quick um that quick snap um where like it it, it locks onto your opponent and it's following for like a few seconds and then when they get a you know when they run far, far off of the, the target it, it breaks free um that's what ultra target assist um does now it's already in there it's already in the game pack and um, I'm on the first uh, under the slot now turning on weapon AI as well so holding down pressing R2 
Now let me see if I can control both controls because that is second player and my other old ass account. Now I'm gonna just hold down L2, and as you can see, it's gonna see it's gonna track them. Now this is let me show you guys because actually this is this is kind of cool too. I got both controls in my hand. Um, this right controller is the strike pack one that's at the top. This gold one is on the bottom. Now as you can see, I'm going left and right. I'm moving left and right, and you see it's it's tracking them a lot better than than would than what it would without it. So that's 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 ultra target assist. It just um it just makes it that you know it, it tracks them like you know closer. I mean it it, it could be a good thing depending on how how you, how you mess with it. You have to remember you have to make this um even out. Let me show you. You have to make sure it is the same. Your uh this um your sensitivity your look sensitivity vertical both of these horizontal vertical has to um be the same as as well as the ads and your high all four of these have to be actually it's just these three but i like to just match all four so please match all four of these within the black ops 4 game pack i can't stress that up too you must match these so whatever you play 8 8 7 7 whatever whatever uh, 2 6 whatever put it just remember it you know Take a picture of whatever you gotta do, write it down, it's like that, and then go back to game packs like that. You know, and you, and you could even it out as you know, as, as best as you can, make sure it's matched because that can throw it off too. Like in the game, if it's, if for example, if you black out four game pack, you at you at ten ten, and here you're not at ten ten, you're at seven seven. It's gonna throw it off. It's gonna mess you the hell up. So you don't want that. You don't want that. You want you want to. That's that's the rules of it. That, that's that's what makes it. You know. You know, it's a bunch of things that, that, that come together as one to make sure you get a perfect game using the strike pack. If you use anything else besides, you know, what's, what's, uh, what's you know, sometimes mandatory or what's sometimes, um, you know, advised to do, then you can't complain. You can't get upset that, oh, it's not working out for you if you're not following the rules. And that's pretty much it as far as um, Ocean Target Assist. Now, I'm going to give my um, do's and don'ts at the end and my personal opinion of which I prefer. Because, you know, I would say, I don't want to say just run this and run that. So I want to give out, you know, as much details as I can between everything and I'll let you know at the end. Now, going on to aim assist plus and me explaining as much as I know, once again. Now, going over the aim assist plus. <clears throat> Excuse me, the aim assist plus. Yeah, I'm, I'm back at the, uh, at this, uh, split screen mode. Cause like I said, I ain't got no friends and I'm sad. I'm very, very sad. But um, yeah, I got it. I got it going in the Black Ops 4 game pack, aim assist plus. There you go. If you just hold down Amazing ADS, for me it's L2. It's going to get that uh, animation that ADS seems very fast, spamming anim animation that spasm. Now, it's good. It, it ain't no like ultra target assist where it's going to follow and track your target. What it's good for is just, it's just quick snapping. Huh. This is quick snapping to your target. Now, I just want to say this is very good for long range. It's almost only good for long range. Like LMGs, ARs, and certain rifles and sniper rifles that don't have a scope. That's like just bare iron sight kind of thing. See, it's good when they're like, um, it's just, it just snaps on them. Like, see, like when they're moving and stuff, it just, it doesn't track them as good as like ultra target sis. It's only good for like um, if you're walking and you're coming across a corner, like, like you know, like them, them, um, them sweaty uh, MLG players or something, like them championship players, like they come around corners and like you see it, 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 it's like a, it's like a slow snap. It just snaps onto them, but you gotta, you gotta like, you gotta be, you know, like right on them, like in order for it to snap to them. It, but it's, it's, it helps, it helps out certain situations. Is he good cl uh, close range? Not at all. Because let's say, you know, this person's not moving, obviously, because it's like the other controller. But let's say they're they moving, they're running around, and, and, you know, they're in your face, or they're trying to kill you. They are slow, they be with outside. But anyway, let's say, you know, you're going to die. It's like, you know, at that point is, you know, you're, you're dead because you, um, you don't have an SMG. Uh, unless you're trying to use this SMG, which God knows I don't know why you would. But like I said, this this mod is, is in my opinion, to each his own, like I always say. But in my opinion, this is only good for ARs, LMGs, you know big guns and fully automatic guns from like over there from like long range because of the whole snapping thing it's not like ultra target assist where you're free to aim ads and stuff like that and they move a lot faster this kind of slows you down when you're um up close when you're running and gunning and streaking and stuff it's kind of hard you're gonna get you're gonna get killed 
but you know there, there are certain people out there and i have a few um dms where people prefer this and they like to use the aim assist plus which go ahead tweet the zone again like i'm not stopping you if it's your thing and you get kills and you streak like that fine but i'm here to explain you know to new and old people about it and um and i have gotten a couple of questions and it's just something that i i don't prefer and if you ask me which one do I prefer, which one is the best, which one's to go to, it's the ultra target assist. Because like this, even if you even if you fully optimize this and you mess with the buttons and and you and the sensitivity, you get it to where it's you know it's, it's doing it real fast, and it's like oh my god, it's like still, I feel like ultra target assist still outnumbers this mod. So a lot of people in this uh, modding strike pack community compares the two. And I'm a, I'm a huge fan over the Ultra Target Assist. It just works better. It works a whole lot better. So, yeah, there you have it. You can make this slower, or you can make it, you know, faster. You know, the the strength. Same same thing um, with the uh, Ultra Target Assist. But yeah, and you could go even you can even go the other route if you want full control and full you know optimizing. Go with the um. Advanced shooter pack. The advanced shooter pack is there. Uh, it's on the my pass. You guys could fully have more, a lot more freedom with that. You ain't, yeah. Granted, you ain't gonna have weapon AI, but you still gonna have the profiles. You still the profiles is there. You're gonna have um, you know, the ultra target assist or the aim assist and stuff. It's not called ultra target assist. You know, aim assist, aim assist plus on there with the numbers and everything, the strength. And you guys are uh, you're you're free to uh, mess around with it. But yeah, I'm just here to show you guys and tell you my opinion and. I don't, I don't, uh, this doesn't, uh, this doesn't, um, Ready to deploy back this doesn't here. really make me happy. Not, not maybe happy, but it's like, I don't run with it. I don't run with it. So, um, the only, the only thing I would say that's beneficial, like I said before, is from long range. If you're far away or if you're like cutting corners and you are walking around, you're coming around and it snaps to them fast. Like a lot of, um, MLG players, like I mentioned before, they, they, they jump on, they, they walk around and, they, and they, they're, they're tapping it like this. Just to get that um the um aim assist. Just to get the uh the, the snap, that few second snap that the game does to lock onto your opponent or your target for those few seconds. Now I believe I went over everything and every question and concern that I've had and DMs that I have regarding any of this. I only go over if I must repeat videos and stuff repeat myself, I only go over you know, selected amount of people that actually you know more than one and two and three and four and five that okay you know, I gotta make a video out because I make all these videos educational and um like previewing it if you will like you know showing you guys like a demonstration and then you get on it you put it and you do it yourself um do not copy me I always say do not copy any setup or anything I show because what I show is just for you guys to just show you and then you take it from there you go on yourself and you mess the numbers and you set everything up yourself Cause like I always say to each his own so <laughs> it's me. It's been your boy, Mr. Longback, the Strike Pack guy. Check out my other content. My DMs are always open. Questions or concerns, feel free. If I don't get to you, I miss you. Like you know, minutes, days, like a day, hour, whatever. Um, I'm sorry, and I will get to you. It's just gonna take some time, and um, I will get to you. I just get a ton. I just get a ton, and yeah. But they're always open. Ask me anything you wish about you know any of the devices. Um, Chronos Max videos. Um, I kind of don't make those videos anymore, but I still do have the device. So feel free. Just because I don't make content on that certain device doesn't mean I know about it. I mean that I don't know about it. So feel free. Um, DM me. And and yeah, I might not make any more Black Ops 4 Game Pack videos as far as this one is concerned, unless Collective Minds and they will release uh, you know a new a new mod or whatever, a new setup, anything I do with this game or any other games new new and old then i will cover it and i'll go over it if i get requests and dms to cover that because i don't just throw out videos just throw out videos i make my my uh strike pack videos if i get you know any questions or hey hey long about check this out this that boom videos coming so it's been your boy check out my content if you are new drop me drop me drag me drop me drop me uh big fucking like just like the size of my belly and yeah if 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 not then drop me the dislike but it's up to you to each his own and i'm out of here like i said i don't script any of my stuff so 
with my videos you're gonna get realness you're gonna get yolo you're gonna get the stutters and all that so if you hating go somewhere else because my videos are for people to actually genuinely you know got questions and concerns and use you know mods and stuff like that so if you hating go somewhere else you see the title of the video why you gotta click on it why click on it and comment some be all so stupidity about it be stupidity about it I'm just, I'm just bullshitting I'm sorry y'all if, if y'all still you know watching this and hearing me talk just just, just. okay I'm leaving goodbye goodbye thanks for all your support I love you guys goodbye goodbye nobody pays your bills <laughs>